Imagine a world in which you, you could measure by watching a person act or move or move through space or just be themselves um, as, as, they're, as they're going through their daily life. Imagine if you could capture that information and, and say, okay, this tells me the, the state of health of this patient. And to do so, you really have to monitor the symptoms that the individual is having pretty much on a continuous basis not just episodically bringing them into the clinic and measuring it once in the clinic. The problem in the field of chronic uh, neurological diseases like Parkinson's is that the symptoms that the patient experiences vary minute by minute. What we'll do is we'll basically put a, a sensor or a, or a series of sensors on the patient or in their environment. The sensor is going to measure how they move or what their body temperature is or whether or not they open the refrigerator door. So they're going to give us information about how the patient is doing and how they're interacting with the environment. The solution that we are working on with Pfizer is going to take a lot of data continuously from sensors, measurements on the person, measurements in the environment, and actually then deploy a large body of machine learning algorithms that we have to develop and apply here to be able to say which of these symptoms correspond in what manner to what kind of accepted clinical endpoints. Insights from these data points could help the doctor understand and quantify the magnitude of symptoms that the patient is having and in turn use that information to help tailor the treatment, the dosage and all other things that are being done to address the symptoms to the patient. It's time for medicine to move into the 21st century. And this is the opportunity literally to change the world. The idea that, it, it, that you, take, you take a broken body and you restore it, it just doesn't get any better than that.